Hello everyone, thanks for joining us. This is the DIG RBC series battery powered irrigation timer. This model can come with an anti-siphon valve, an inline valve, or a manual valve actuator. The programming is identical for each model. Today, we're going to use the RBC 8000 to cover some important features of this series. We'll also show you how to program the timer and enter a simple watering schedule. Before we get to that, we must first install the batteries. We'll begin by removing the timer from the packaging. Locate the owner's manual and set it aside for future reference. Unscrew and remove the battery compartment cover. Check the polarity indicators on the back of the case and then install two AA alkaline batteries, one at a time with the correct orientation. Finally, screw the battery compartment cover back on to the base of the timer. The RBC timers are programmed by using the buttons below the display. The center target button is used to select which mode to program or review. Icons will appear on the display to indicate which mode has been selected. The right and left arrow buttons are used to make the display flash. The up or down arrow buttons are used to change the entry when it is flashing. The upper right hand button with the water drop is the manual button, which is used to start or stop a manual run. The upper left hand button is the power button, which is used to immediately power the timer on or off. Like any other irrigation timer, there are three modes that need to be set by the user, the watering duration, the watering frequency, and the start time. But before we set a watering schedule, we must first set the current time and date. Let's begin by pressing the target button until the time date icon appears in the upper left corner of the display. The hour digits will be flashing. Next, press the up or down arrow button to set the current hour. AM or PM is also selected in this mode by advancing the hour digits past 12. When finished, press the right arrow button again to make the minutes flash, and use the same button to finish setting the current time. Next, we need to set the current month, date, and year. To do so, press the right arrow button again, and the month digit will appear flashing on the left. Press the up or down arrow buttons to set the current month. Then, press the right arrow button again, and the date will flash in the center. Use the same button to set the current date, and then press the right arrow button again to make the year flash. Follow the same steps to set the current year. When this is finished, press the center target button again and move on to the set days mode. To program the RBC timers to water on specific days of the week, push the target button until the set days icon appears in the lower left corner of the display. Along the top of the display, the watering days will be underlined. A new timer will have every day set up as a watering day. To make a non-watering day, simply push the right arrow button until the day flashes. Then push the down arrow and remove the underline. Repeat the steps to remove or add underlines and finish setting up the watering days. The timer will only water on the days with an underline. This timer can also be set to water on a cyclical basis, which we will cover later on in this video. The next mode to set is the start time. The RBC can be set to water up to four times per day in the days mode. To set the first start time, press the target button and start one will appear on the left. Press the right arrow button and the starting hour will flash. Then press the up or down arrow buttons to change the starting hour. Next, press the right arrow button again to make the minutes flash and use the up or down arrow buttons to finish setting the start time. To set a second start time, press the right arrow button and start two will appear on the left. The word off will appear flashing. Then, just repeat the same steps to set start number two. To delete a start time, the procedure is reversed. Bring up the start time you want to turn off, the hour will be flashing. Then, press the up or down arrow button until the word off appears, and finally, press the target button to move on to the runtime mode. 
The RBC runtime can be set from 1 minute to 5 hours 59 minutes in 1 minute increments. There is one runtime available and it will apply to all start times. The timer comes preset from the factory with a default runtime of 5 minutes. To see or change the runtime, press the target button until the hourglass icon appears at the bottom of the display. Push the right arrow button, then press the up or down arrow buttons to change the number and follow the same steps to change the minutes. To set a runtime of 9 minutes, the display should show 009, 0 hours, 9 minutes. The last programming mode to set, which is optional, is the rain delay. In this mode, the automatic operation of the timer can be suspended from 1 to 99 days. For normal automatic operation, the rain mode should be set to off, which is the default setting. To set a rain delay, push the target button until the rain delay icon appears at the bottom of the display. Then, press the right arrow button and off will flash. Next, press the up arrow button to enter the number of days that the timer will wait before resuming the watering program. In the set days mode, the RBC timer can also be programmed to water on odd numbered days, even days, or on a cyclical basis from once every hour to once every 30 days. Please note, if this mode is selected, the watering may not always occur on the same days of the week. To select one of these modes, first press the target button and go into the set days mode. Then, remove the underline from every day by pressing the right arrow button and then the down arrow button. When Sunday is flashing, press the right arrow button again and the word even will appear. If you wish to water on days that end in an even number, press the target button. Or, to water on odd numbered days, press the up arrow button and the word odd will appear. To water once every so many hours or days, press the right arrow button and 100 will appear, which is once every hour. The frequency can be increased up to 12 hours by pressing the up arrow button. To go into the cyclical days mode, press the right arrow button again and one day will appear on the right. To water once every four days, just push the up arrow button and change the flashing number to four. The timer will now water once every four days. The starting day of a cyclical program can be set in the rain delay mode. Simply push the target button until the rain delay icon appears at the bottom of the screen and then push the right arrow button to make the entry flash. Then, push the up arrow button and enter the number of days to wait until the program starts. With a one day rain delay, for example, the program will start the following day. The upper left hand button is the program on off button. The only function of this button is to activate or deactivate the automatic operation of the program. Press it once to turn an octave program off and the word off will appear. In this mode, the program is saved, but no automatic watering will occur. To resume automatic programmed operation, press the button again and the current time will appear, which indicates that the timer is now set back into its automatic mode. The upper right button with the water drop is the manual button. This button is only used to start or stop a manual run. When this button is pressed, the word on will appear. The solenoid will click and the valve should open, pressurizing the irrigation system. After a few seconds, the display will change and show the remaining runtime. To stop the manual run immediately, push the manual button again, or just wait and the timer will close the valve when the runtime is finished. All RBC timers can connect to a wired rain sensor so the timer won't water automatically when it rains. To connect a rain sensor, select one that is normally closed and install the sensor in a location that will receive unobstructed rainfall. Then, run the wires from the sensor back down to the RBC timer. Cut the yellow wire loop in the center and strip both the wire ends back about half an inch. Splice each yellow wire to one of the two wires from the sensor by using waterproof wire connectors. When the sensor is activated by sufficient rainfall, 
the sensor icon will appear on the display, and automatic operation will be suspended until the sensor dries out. When this occurs, the icon will disappear and the automatic operation will resume. The timer is now programmed and ready to go. The RBC series timers are just a few of the many water-saving products from DIG. To learn more about these models or any of our other high-efficiency, low-volume irrigation products, please log on to our website, digcorp.com. Thanks for watching.